What is up, everybody? Apparently, Chapter 13 came out today. I didn't even know. All right, let me adjust the music volume. I never do this in advance because I'm dumb. There we go. That's better. All right. I don't know anything about Chapter 13, so I guess we'll see how this goes. I saw the added a new four star, and he looks terrible. I, I, I like, what? Like his two skills are so shit. Like, I, I don't understand. Unless I'm missing something, I don't see how that character is even, like, remotely usable. Like, what on earth are they? Thank you, Zert. Thank you so much for the gifted sub, man. I super, super, super appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's uh, manage the base first, I guess. That's the exciting part, right? Yeah, you know, I bought that skin. I need rocks really bad, but I was like, that's a good skin. And if I ever level that character, I'd want it, so. Yeah, there was nothing about that character that looked useful to me. I think I do have her, right? I'm, uh... Yeah, yeah, I do, I do. Not leveled by any means, so. One of these days. All right, good enough. That, that was great base management, guys. Let's see, trying to get that earth spirit up for God's sakes. Nani? What little I've used her, she is a pretty fun unit. Oh, you know what? Let me get the giveaway ready. I'm sure we'll have some fun with that here. Giveaway. Eight, there you go. All right. What is this? Fucking call sit. Interesting. So how long is this Victoria saga? Oh, it's not call sit, whatever. Cat racist, eh. You know, Victoria is a cool country and all that. And, uh, but this doesn't seem to really matter. Like the whole thing, I feel like this could have been a series of events, like the neural stuff. I don't see why this needed to be main story. It kind of just stalled the hell out from where we ended in 1.0. I like this one because he's green. I don't think it really does make sense uh, to be main story. Like compared to the overarching like narrative of Arc Knights, it actually seems completely irrelevant. And I, I would argue, and I, I think with a lot of evidence, that many of the events have actually been more relevant than this story uh, chapter. Not this one specifically, but like the whole arc. I mean, almost everything's related to Rhodes Island stuff. That doesn't mean anything. But like, yeah, none of the events have ever been related to Rhodes Island before, except every single one of them. Nice aesthetic here. Yeah, honestly, the space event's one of the more uh, relevant bits of story. And I, fucking IS-4, like IS-4 is more important. I'm not saying 2.0 isn't fun or interesting. Like I said, I like uh, the Victorian stuff. I think I like it more than most of my chat does. And you know, Steam Knight's like the coolest shit ever, but that doesn't mean it needs to be main story. Uh, 
really good drip, by the way. We've talked about this before. Uh, not going to be playable either. So this is like god tier drip right here. 9.5 out of 10. Honestly, we've had more origins of Rose Island in the events than the main story, very much so. Shit, that's an Emperor's Blade. Fun times. I wonder what they'll do in 3.0. They've really slowed down the, the story though when it comes to all the like Tallulah stuff and Ursus and all that. the shitter himself. Okay, uh, that's enough. Can I get to some gameplay, please? All right, what do we got here? Two blue boxes. Guessing something nasty is gonna come up here. I, I like how this is just a straight line though. All right, chat. If you want to pick the friend support unit. All right, we already did. Excuse me. It's Ort. All right. Ort's to blame for everything. What do we got here? Oh, yeah. What's her face? All right. Hold on a second. If YouTube would like to actually load, that would be great. Okay. 21. Jesus. Uh, where is she at? Oh, cool. We get the skin. All right, so this is, right, that's the one where it's permanent, right? Where it just stays there until you deactivate it. So it's got the awkward range, but go burr real good. Yeah, she fucking uh, soloed that lane, I remember, in that uh, cardigan uh, baguette event. That's what I'm going to refer to it uh, as from now on. The baguette incident. Leave the scouting to me. I like how I, I got the costume and I'm not even going to use it. Um, you know what, Ash, though? Guys, they're going to be the two six stars on the team, right? And they're both snipers. And, and one of them's limited and one of them's not. So the limited one's going to be better, right? That's, uh, that's how gacha games work. I've, I've cracked the code. Limited equals better. Right, you got Castoria over in FGO, she's limited, and she's top tier, right? So, definitely how this works. Um, probably want at least a tank. J in here. Haze, Indigo, get some healing. One of these. One more. Man, we need more four stars that aren't garbage. Some guys would be nice. They literally just added a four star that's a guy, but he's trash. Make me mad. Good enough. Well, I didn't say there weren't going to be any five stars. 
I mean, Cliff Art's like an honorary four star as far as I'm concerned because you get her from like the clipboard missions or whatever. So her rarity doesn't even matter that much. Are there any limited six stars that aren't Ash that came out after Chalter that are, are meh? Let's see. I wonder if they go top or bottom first. What are these? Okay, they're just... Wait, what? Is that fucking cannon back? No. That, this can't be the artillery again. Oh god, this music's appropriate. Why is this shitter back? God damn it, dude. Oh. Oh, wait, no, that's not Ash. Excuse me. Well, this will be interesting. Where do we want to put her? I guess she'll deal with bottom. She's gonna fucking die. Decent damage here. Man, Ort's music is so good, dude. Like, what the hell? Uh-oh. Now we're out of range, so I should have dropped him a long time ago. This is getting kind of far along. Wait a minute. Oh fuck, she's gonna get hit if that switches to, to him. Fuck! Well... Kinda too late to fix that. That's unfortunate. Chat, where did Chat's unit go? What, uh, what happened? I mean, he's fine. Oops. I mean, she was doing good for like that one guy she knew. What the hell? Oh yeah, she is two block, isn't she? Uh-oh. Might have to send her back, uh, depending on what's going on over here. Damn, he's doing well. Hey look, she's back! Oh, okay, maybe- well... She's just not gonna have a good time on this stage. I don't think Perfumer can keep her alive on her own. Why is he got the thing? Everyone is going to die. Now Yutage doesn't give a shit. Kill, 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 kill. All right, if they get hit, it's not that bad. Hey, the enemy died. Sick. Guys, Ash used her uh, explosive and killed everybody. And she figured out how to turn around. Pretty impressive. I can't believe this fucking artillery is back, though. Is this Chin Gong gameplay? A little bit. What is this, the Dark Souls 2 intro? Chat. Arknights is dumb. It's silly enough making Hordor, or however you say his fucking name, playable. Right? But why in God's name is Artoria, or however the fuck you say her name, playable? I. I. That. Anyone that's read her event, how is she playable? Right? And here's the thing if you want to make baddies playable for funsies, that's fine. But I'm sure they're not doing that and like they're gonna have a bio and they're gonna try to justify it Which is just fucking stupid, but then an F go we can't have Ort or Zeus All right, the world's not fair. All right. I just proved it if anyone thought the world was fair It's not all right. That's it. I uh, put, put a fork in it. It's done Do we get like causes suicide lady 
Right, that's fine, but or no, uh uh, a oh, high guard. By the way, guard is cooler than Rhodes Island. I'm just saying. I actually love that he betrays Rhodes Island and his reasons for doing it make complete sense. And then it's really funny too that most of Rhodes Island is just like so like offended by it. And it's like, how stupid are they? Yep, no Jesselton either. No Blood Knight. Red is really awesome. Uh, I would love it if he was playable, but he won't be. Like, with that design, no chance. It's like, these guys, they're not gonna be playable. I mean, there's no, no chance. Probably gonna be playable, though. Surprised to just casually see Tallulah show up like that. I mean, they've been hinting that she's gonna really get active again soon, so. You know, she can't be particularly happy. You know, get body jacked by uh, Cthulhu, essentially, and then uh, wake up and all of your friends are dead, and pretty much everyone hates you. It's like, oh, this is great. So is she sticking with Reunion? Like, what's uh, what's her deal? I miss Patriot. There's guards, uh, Reunion. He's gonna die, by the way. I'm so sure of that. They wanted to make things playable, like just purely for funsies, I wouldn't mind at all. And a lot of the gameplay segments are purely for funsies, like fighting Steam Knight doesn't actually happen. And there's loads of fights in all the main story chapters like that, where like the gameplay segment is just ethereal, right? It doesn't actually mean anything. So like, if the Pope's playable, that's fine by me. I'm just skimming through this, but I'm gonna actually read this later. They did show some of Patriot's backstory, but not like you know, during his prime and all that. The thing about that is it's like, it's it's so long ago, it's like events that are, are pretty detached. I mean, I, I guess kind of, it depends because the demons are probably going to be really important, but. I know we have Scatty fucking Alter. I know she's playable for absolutely no reason. Yeah, they, I guess they do break the rules with playable characters sometimes, but it's for waifus. Let's not kid ourselves. I think, isn't he? I think he's more than 200 years old, actually. I think he's like a good bit more. The thing is, even Ascalon's design, you could kind of tell they, they were thinking she was going to be playable later. Like with red and stuff, they're like, nah. That's Percival. I think we've had this conversation before. Who the fuck gives these people their code names? I think F goes, you know, this guy's a Chad. Okay, I, I'm already a fan of this guy. This guy looks like he knows how to take care of business. Yeah, Percival looks playable there. Guard should have kept the mask, by the way. It just looks cooler. By the way, I'd like to point out that almost everyone that Guard has ever, like, looked up to is dead. 
Kills bad man. They really should have uh, animated the event with Garden Patriot in the anime. I think that would have made... Um, what are these? But it would have made the... Uh, oh, those are for that, like, a login event thingy or whatever. But anyway, that, I think would have made the anime a lot better. Especially when, like, the big stuff with Patriot actually gets animated. Oh, yeah, we can still do... I forgot about hard mode. Well, uh, I, I kind of like doing normal mode first. That way, when there's big differences, you see them. And uh, it gives me more content to do. It's hard to say, though, because sometimes the normal modes are just lame. And I, I remember I said this. When they first introduced this system, I knew this was going to happen where the normal modes were going to actually turn into easy mode and then hard mode was going to turn into harder than the normal mode before. So it's it's just kind of bad. I honestly wish they didn't do this. I vastly prefer challenge mode. Like it's not it's not even close. Like I remember that the the first chapter with this system wasn't so bad. Uh, I enjoyed both normal and hard mode, but then the one before this one, chapter 12, wasn't like that at all. Normal mode was a joke and then hard mode was Actually, I don't even remember how hard hard mode was, to be honest. Did I do- wait a minute, did I do hard mode of chapter 12? Yes? I think? It's kind of hard to tell if you've beaten it. Uh, maybe I didn't do this one? I don't- because it doesn't have the blue thing. Did I not do this one? Is that not all- I don't even know. I think we may have, oh, it goes up to 20, so I, I must have just not finished. I think I just forgot, because I, I think I do remember going through this, and then we just kind of stopped. Whoops! Whatever, we'll get, we'll get to it when we're done with all the events and whatnot. But yeah, I remember really not liking normal mode of that chapter. It was just boring. All right. Chat, type in, uh, ORT. O-R-T. The lad himself. I miss ORT. It was, it was nice when he was in the game. He got a bio. At least, uh, at least he got that. All right, the winner is C9. All right, C9, what you want to see here? What's it going to be? W, it's thematic. Fair enough. Hey, look, easy. E I, I, it's all always has W up, so that was easy. I didn't actually look at the map, so... We'll see how the team does. All right, no, uh, no reunion stuff, so who cares? Honestly, if they ever made Ort playable, it would definitely be his like grand foreigner form. I don't think there's any question about that. Okay, I guess these guys go over here. W right here looks good. Oh, we got these assholes. Oh, they come through here, then here. That's kind of a pain. Will there be a cannon, though? Fuck. Oh, Ash, why do I trust you with anything? I'd like to drop W, but, uh, there we go. Why are you walking that way? What are you do- Hello? He's like, nah, I'm out of here. I'm gonna wait for a backup. 
These fuckers have like AI or something crazy. Wonder what the point of that is. That must be like bigger deal in hard mode. All oh, right, that's a thing. Ash is just gonna fuck this up. I just, you're not gonna ever target this guy. I, I I was trying so hard to stop this guy so I could target that guy, but uh, not to be. Got problems over here now. W's doing fine. What is this thing? I think I fought these before, but I don't remember what they do. I mean, he'll, he'll win eventually, right? I don't remember what this does either. Hi, guys. Hopefully, Jay fixes the problems over there. Please stop shooting, Matterhorn. Ash, I fucking... This is why we don't have more Rainbow Six Ops in the game, by the way. It's your fault. It's also why Doc's toolkit got scuffed as hell. Definitely should not have put her in charge of uh, this lane. That did not work out particularly well. Itage absolutely destroying that thing. Dude, the, I, it's like, it's like they made this to fuck over Ash, right? It's like every single time these guys move into range, these guys, it's the, just right as they come in. But you know, after the stun, right? It's like you, j I, I see so many stages like this and it doesn't, I don't even get it because there's so many other operators that are like designed for murdering tough enemies like this that don't have this problem, right? So like, why is it designed this way? She actually shot him like twice. Like just, just for a moment there. Oh, it's super shit over here again. I'm actually kind of surprised nothing bad is- Is this the same guy from before? Th three, specifically? What about four and five? It just already feels like a stage that really needs to be harder. Just send her back, drop the boy. I think these guys like heal or something. And yeah, they're like leeching on the attack or something like that. Well, W did kill a lot of stuff. Wasn't really a bad time for her. Um, Indigo, you were not even deployed. Just, just saying. Okay, let's at least do some of these early ones. They're just, they're not, they're not satisfying enough. Chat, you can't, you can't do that emote anytime I, I say anything that's even remotely, I wouldn't even say negative, but like, you know, not positive. You, if I just say something not positive, you can't do the amount, okay? Yes, we can. Bunch of crybabies. It's ridiculous. Let's see if we can keep her alive this time. I think she still hits over here. You know, I should put her right here because she'll hit him when he's in that spot. <sighs> that's, uh, that's not the one. That's, uh, it's a different skill. 
Well, that sucks. You know what? True, true damage is good. How are you shooting that? That doesn't hit that guy. I honest to God do not understand what happened there. Actually confused. Look at all of these gentlemen. I think it does like it. No, it, oh yeah, yeah, it does do a little bit of damage on the explosion afterwards. Uh oh. Fuck. We're about to get bombed, so if, oh, I should have kept shooting. Oh no, Matterhorn's a four block. He's a five block. Oh shit. We need more of these guys. I can send him back, but uh, we're not exactly ready here. I have to send him back. Split tile go. Woo! None of this is going as I would have wished. This skin is pretty cool. If we could get her uh, dad in, that would be great. Can he just be a three block? That would really help. A little worried about this. Best Sonic 3 song, by the way. I think, I don't know, Sonic 3 is pretty cracked with the soundtrack. I need to like listen to the whole thing. Damn, he is doing pretty well out there. God damn it, Ash! Ugh, there's a, like, it's a block! You're, like, just, your hitbox is on a block, right? So somehow an enemy, you know, getting pulled is split tiling there. Like, what? God. Damn it, dude. Sorry, forgot to hold that back. I probably should have waited until that guy transformed. Like, this isn't a ground tile. It's a ranged one. I'm surprised he's still alive. Ash, I swear to God. I should have waited a few seconds to drop her. Cause she got healed from Perfumer and stuff, so that makes her weaker. Why is she like this, by the way? Is there any lore explanation to why she like loses half of her life and then is stronger the closer to death she is? Like, what the hell? Indigo carry. Nah, I win. Oh yeah, Hamas is fine. He, he's like immortal against this shit. You don't give a shit about the cannon. There's a lot of old soundtracks out there that have got pretty killer. What was even the object, the extra thing? More HP. The car bearers. ASVs provide larger attack bonus. That must be the, the car thing. Alright, this one was W. There we go. Uh, anything I want to change here? Definitely Ash's placement.
Sorry, Indigo, but I don't think we need what you do here. Let's see. Confused chat. Okay, just get even closer. We did it. So much better. Okay, that's fantastic. That'll do great. Where do we put W here? That's, you know, I don't think we need help bottom, so I think we just put her back here. Oh, she put a bomb there. Excuse me. I guess that's fine. Then there's this fucker. Oh god, I forgot about this guy. That landmine hit him. That's awesome. God, he heals for that much? What? Bro. Bet you that landmine would have killed him. Look, the stun. Uh, get oh fuck! That landmine just saved my ass. Okay, these guys are a problem. I just realized you Tage just being hanging out there without her ability up this entire time. Not exactly ideal. I actually wish this square was available again because W putting bombs there was quite handy. Bonk. W seems like a pretty good six star still. Nice to get some rocks. Well, I seem to have plenty. All right. Um. No blue boxes in weird spots. This could be a good tile. All right, chat. Type in... 137. You guys remember that one time? I don't even remember what it was for, but I had chat trying to guess a number like in the giveaway that was three digits. You know, not two, three. And it took them so so long, dude. It was crazy. Good times. Good times. I think what we did was whoever guessed it got it or something like that. All right. We got... Jute a pick. Do the pick. What you want. Somebody that would wreck face here would be fun, but you can take whatever you want here. That's not me, question mark? Irene. Oh, you know, she could potentially go there. We might try that. We'll see. Irene's a lot of fun. I'm actually going to level my own Irene at some point, because her gameplay is just too much fun. 
And she doesn't sound like a fucking, like, squeaky mouse in English, so... Where she be? Normally it doesn't take that long to find, uh, Irene, but... Like, how do we find a Franca before we find an Irene? How does that happen? Do I need to add somebody? Yo, boy's face. That's the name. Uh-oh. You seem to be somewhat Irene-less here. Look, I'm just saying, Franca's gameplay is not exactly the most impressive, all right? Well, there's an Irene, but it's a blue one, so... Well... Yeah, we might have to add somebody. Anybody in chat got a, uh, Irene? The, uh, blue Tachanka. Nope. You can put mine up. Yeah, we might need it. See, I should have just leveled mine, but, uh, dude, I, I got it. I can't really level anything until Rainbow Six. I've, I've really screwed myself with leveling what I already have. Like, my, uh, unless they have an event that gives you, like, 30 million LMD, I think I'm fucked right now. There we go. Much better. This team is fine. It's pretty well-rounded. God, Cairo using m Moose to make Cliff do zero damage is so funny, dude. God, that must make that stage so easy because, like, the whole thing is, like, having to deal with the specifics of where you need to stand and stuff while dealing with the trash mobs. Because, like, I stalled him. That's what I did. I stalled him, like, forever until I killed all the trash mobs. But that, that was a little tricky, where if he just doesn't do any fucking damage, then, like, who cares? You know, I, 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 I tanked him with, like, Matterhorn, and then whenever I, he'd get stunned, uh, I had pure stream healing, so it didn't last as long, and I would have, like, gravel there to take aggro for a second, and I just kept him like that forever. Of course they're going top first. Also, of course, they're uh, putting the, the artillery here. Probably don't want to put him there. Who's tankier? Hell, she's probably tankier. Yeah, she is. Didn't really need to do that, but... Man, I want to play CrossCode again. I didn't play a lot of it. The dungeons and the boss fights were so much fun, but everything else was so miserable. All the, like, open world running around and stuff, and it was just boring. But like the the the, the, the the meat of the game, the dungeons and the boss fights were great. Probably should have saved that, but it, I just wanted to see the violence. Gonna be perfectly honest about that one. What is that? Jesus. The next stack will stun all surrounding friendly units. We were born. Interesting. That's gonna be rough. I do love her true damage, just slaughtering these slug guys. Oh, this should be pure stream, man. 
Like, I don't think we need Ash here. This will be interesting on hard mode. I feel like Irene's talents are lost here because the enemies coming at us in the main area aren't strong enough. Oh, they both get stunned. That's unfortunate. Yeah, Pure Stream would be pretty good here. Well, I guess Irene can obliterate the things that these turn into. Look, that guy exists! So he gets to... Get, uh, she actually survived, though. I was gonna say, so he gets to get to ulted or whatever, but... Uh, fucker lived. Crazy. That is a lot of bullshit. Was Green nice to chat for once? Oh my god. You guys have a victim complex. No, uh-huh. Look at you guys. Never. Oh man, she killed that thing. That's super good. Yeah, see, these these stages are just a little too easy on normal mode, man. Man, right as I put her down, he's moving. Oh, wow, she wrecked it. Well, he got shot by the cannon, and Matterhorn didn't care. Guys, Ash is actually a fast redeploy. You'd actually be sick if that was the case, just because of the stun. Weird uh, camera work here, but why though? I saved chat. Oh, shut up, Loss. I want to do that one in hard mode, too. The cars get larger attack bonus to the reborn creations. Okay, so you really want to kill those. I oh, know, I'm doing it on hard mode now. Let's go pure stream this time. Like, when they're that easy, I, uh, want to make it harder. Oh, I see. I guess you can't do the... The next, yeah, yeah, you can't do the next stage if you haven't done this one yet on hard mode. I mean, I wasn't trying to get you specifically, I was trying to get anyone in part that was part of the rebellion, really. And see, because also I'm the admin, I can, uh, I can do it again. Oh. Shit, I don't think Asmog deserved that. Too bad some people just can't live and live. Friendly fire! Whoops. Oh, they know what they did. Man, you could put Ansel right here and he could heal over there. That is way nastier. Why they gotta be like that, man? Damn, that's tough. Yeah, they smart. I could put Toter here to help shoot them and stuff. Damn, though, that, that's gonna be hard to deal with. I'm just gonna put Irene here. It makes sense. Will 
problem with this is he can't hit them when they're in the bottom part. And the problem here is our only healing for Matterhorn is J and then the passive from Perfumer. This one's gonna be hard to kill too. I wonder if pulling it like that gets it in range. I promise she's gonna shoot the ones in here. As she is an idiot. Music knows. Kill! Whoa, that's bad. He didn't even soak the stun. Uh oh. Oh, oh, yeah, that's not good. Fuck, I wanted to wait for the reborn, but... Good, you Yutage killed that one, that helps. She's a champ. Yutage has like the Lupu effect. Cause in F Go and in, in Fate like extra and stuff, I never liked Lupu, like his design and stuff, and he doesn't have a character. He's just brrrr, all the time. Um, but just due to like what he was to low stars, right, and how useful he was, he's not really that good anymore because they hate Berserkers, but um, I ended up kind of just growing to like him just because he was like this awesome budget unit that was so fucking useful in certain stages where you had no other option. Uh, and Yutage is just so fucking helpful. But I know like nothing about her character, but I end up liking her anyway just because she's so goddamn useful. But she doesn't do anything to piss me off, so, you know, good enough. She's never gonna get her skill, and we really need it because, like, the true damage would be sick down here. Well, Ash is dying. Can't say that's good. Oh, sick. Totor got him. How is she alive? We may have to drop Matterhorn over here so we don't get nuked. I mean, they're they're getting it. That was way funner on uh, hard mode, honestly. How many of these do you need for... I don't even know. Like, I don't know what, like, how much 400 is worth. Let me go check. Well, I barely got anything from all of those points we've got. Oh, you need a lot. Wow, can you finish this? Like, jeez. Maybe I need to do the hard mode on chapter 12, because it looks like we didn't finish that either. It'd be nice to get some of this stuff, though. Um... Huh. I finished the chapter, and I was, like, over halfway. Well, how the hell do you get the rest of it, then? Does this thing stick around until chapter 14 or something? Oh, you can farm it. Oh. Yeah, I, I didn't realize you could just farm it. It draws from all stages. Oh, okay. I understand now. That's not so bad. Chat, can we have Gnosis in the yellow card shop, please? I 
God damn it, man. Everyone's saying passenger, but I can't bypass. Fuck off! I can't buy passenger because then I won't have enough yellow cards to get Gnosis if he's added. And you know if I if I buy him, they're gonna add Gnosis, so. Where's my Fristens at, man? Trick murder streamer communication. Don't even start. Did they do GSSR in Arknights? I know there's a defender, but I do need cards, so... Next two regular banners have Call, Sit, and Lee. Well, I'm not doing that. They do 20 bucks. They give you a selector ticket. How does it work exactly? You just pick what you get? Wow, do you just spend 20 bucks and get a 6 star? That's so fucking reasonable. Why don't more games do that? That's like so... Why is Arknights like so much better at their business model than everybody? Like, fuck, man. Okay, the odds of getting Fristen off of no tag is just... That's not even worth trying. Yeah, I'd... If the... I'd spend 20 bucks to get... Because I've been dying to actually support this game. I, I just never have a reason to because it's so fucking free-to-play friendly. I never give them money, but uh, I I give them twenty bucks for um. Couldn't you ready a slightly cooler? Uh, no, it's just. Yeah, I might get the Rainbow Six pack. The uh, army, it looks pretty cool, and I like Rainbow Six a lot, so I I'm probably gonna do that. And it lasts forever, so like that's pretty cool. I can't imagine though that they're gonna do that too often because anytime. You do something like that. If you add new things to the UI, you have to do it for all the other themes. So I would think they wouldn't want that many. Okay, chat. Type in... Fine, you get an 8. Get an 8 in there. So I'll convince me. Who shall- oh, we get a red stage chat. So this is a new mat, I'm pretty sure, but I already have one because I opened those boxes and one of the boxes had this mat in it, so that's kind of funny. Getting ahead of the curve on that one. Where is my bloody music? Okay, the winner is... Thinrear. Briggs? Check. Yeah, what do you want the bonus stream to be today? That's obviously not until later, but uh... Next time for sure. Call sit mod one of these days. It might against more TR, yeah. It was a good time. Alright, what unit do you want? I may, you may have already said it, I just missed it. Dorothy, okay. The Was she a mouse, I think? Where is she at? I normally see her like all the time, so... Wait, isn't she just a specialist? Excuse me. No, not that one. Level your fucking units. There's the new guy who's so bad. Oh, excuse me. I didn't realize that was Dorothy. <laughs> I saw that before. I was... I don't know who the fuck I thought it was, but, uh... Uh, I mean, this team's pretty solid. They're really on about this black bar thing. Isn't he an elite op? 
Or am I getting my character designs confused? He's probably gonna be playable, but then Sharp's not. It's fucking bullshit. Yep, he's not wearing the uniform, so he gets to be playable. Because that makes fucking sense! Oh boy. I don't know if Dorothy's gonna be good here, but uh, oh my god. That's a problem. I'm not reading all that Yu Gi Oh text. I'll figure it out later. I could use some DP right now. Really? It activated before I could deploy another operator. <laughs> okay, game. Yeah, it's, it's great. Cannons, by the way. I'm like, I dropped a vanguard, for God's sakes. What do you want from me here? as much DP as possible here. I thought you wanted me here to fix the law. Okay, maybe gravel would have uh would have been better there. Kyoto. Uh. Chat, imagine being a Yato fan and then they finally add another version of Yato and she picked the worst fashion ever. I just, what the fuck happened? Like, can we please just have her specialist gameplay with her vanguard design? Like, I don't- I don't think this is asking for too much here. Okay, I can go ahead- wait. He's a two block, she's a one block. God damn it, that won't work. Gotta wait! I like how she lives. I thought you wanted me here to fix the lock. You better not be going top. You fucker are going top. Courier, buddy, we really need that DP right now. Why is there a soul there? What is happening? Now we have stealth drones with bombs and we bled. Okay, this was... Okay, those aren't bombs. Boy, this is a weird stage. Chad, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say Dorothy's useless on this stage. All right. I said it. You're useless on this stage. Shut the fuck up. Let's move. Time waits for nobody. Targets detected. I could drop here. That's probably better.
Yeah, at least does some damage to them. Okay, we got QP. That's good. Getting a little close there. He should still have it. I was trying to send him back. God damn it. He's a champion. Don't even worry about it, chat. Gonna be great. Actually, that wasn't so bad. Enjoyable sound effect. good so far. There's still so many enemies left on this stage. I need a different healer. I don't know why I cast that. Swap these healers around would really help. Oh, fuck. Toter, this is really not the time to be shooting the bottom guys. Like, even though Matterhorn's a five block, he doesn't have the thing because there's so many of these fuckers up. I don't have enough, uh, I thought I had enough DP, but I did not. Could really use that true damage right now. And we bled. God damn it. She knows what's up. Okay. Let's see here. Um, swapping the healers around would definitely help. Tage is not, she's not bad here, but we don't really have any more like, like some good range stuff. Uh, not Dorothy though, by the way, because she can't shoot all the guys who are in the out of bound zones. I'm just saying, that's like clearly the, uh, the play here. Hmm. Uh, pretty, uh, silly up here. This will be interesting on hard mode. We wait. Really shouldn't be in speed mode. I thought you wanted me here to fix the law. There's more of you. There's no turning back for you. Put her down now. 
It really used Matter uh, Matterhorn, uh, Toter, excuse me. Same person, by the way. Um, he is not, doesn't have it because this isn't one of those little shits yet. Hurry up! Hurry the fuck up! God, that was, and it kills Toter though. Fuck! I killed these last time. I think it's because I set up Toter sooner before I set them up. Damn it. And now I can't drop over here smoothly. What? Optimistic hummus there. Dude, Dorothy is just not doing anything. Waste of space. There's just too many tiles where you can't deploy stuff, so. Let's see. Set up Matter Toter a little bit sooner. I'll get one of these days. Bob. This close right now. I see you. A one on one. Golf guy, huh? Get a shot off. That was so close. Like that that's the shot you need though. Perfect. Are you ready? Okay, good, good. Man, Silver Ash would be nice on this stage. Who else? You know who'd be good? Scene. There we go. There's a budgety unit that can see invisibility. Yeah, these ones are hard to deal with. Fuck, I didn't get that tile. The slightest vibration can change the result. Ready to go. Oh my god, Matterhorn doesn't have the thing. No, no. Oh my god. That's not good. Need a little bit more true damage in there or something. Do these guys just stealth all the way into your base? How do they expect people to deal with that? Because you might not, I mean, I guess t everyone has Toter, but that's like it. Because like some people might not have seen because they don't have the tokens, right? They may not have Silver Ash or any of that. Oh, they don't leak. They don't take. Oh, they take damage over time. I see. So you can theoretically deal with them no matter what. Then they must have thought of that. Then fair enough. Because I was gonna say, even though Toter is pretty free to play friendly, he hasn't been in the the game that long. So like, it's not guaranteed everybody has him, and he may not be leveled, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Dude, Tor. 
fucking Dorothy, dude. Ugh. Guys, you know who'd be better? Uh, Frost, because, you know, perhaps they're doing so well here. Not that Ash is doing much either, to be honest. Can I have a 10 block tank just so they're just guaranteed to get the cannon? Seems pretty fair to me. I don't see any problems. Gator would be pretty sick here. that DP quick. Interesting stage though. A lot going on. Hoda really cuts it close with these guys. I wonder if I should bring Donkey. Help clear the fucks out. Get it. Get it. Comes down to the wire here. Come on! He did not kill this guy. Good. Dorothy check. If I can kill a few of these, it'll make it uh, less annoying up here. Not where I wanted to put that. I wanted to put it right there. Okay, not bad. Just gotta kill those stupid uh, slug things so my block count doesn't go up. Mad Horn don't give a shit. Waited too long to drop there. Having a bad time over here. I can use her skill on these ones. Although these ones actually aren't, the timing's not bad. Need to kill these at some point. that sand though Hurry up, could drop toter but I don't think we need it oh uh, yeah wonder if these guys get shot by the yeah they do get shot by it how about that that's a little weird because I think our aoe's miss them when they're in stealth I guess it's because it's true damage I love how Matterhorn has just been out here getting shot by the drones and the airstrikes. And he's fine. These guys are annoying me. Alright, looks like we figured it out though. 
Does this guy just hang out down here and die? That's rough. Yeah, I'm sure Ash is really gonna... <laughs> Making fun of Dorothy, but yeah, Ash is probably doing the least on this team. The Courier, even though he's not on the field anymore, was really important. I think she killed some of this stuff. Actually, Dorothy did do okay. I mean, she wasn't like the strongest unit ever because a lot of what she was doing, we would have just taken care of with uh, Cliffheart, but it was not bad. Like she did a lot of damage bottom. Using, using that sand. Chat, there's a Pokemon attack named Sand Blast, isn't there? I've never seen it, never heard it. I'm just, I'm just assuming that's a thing. Sand attack? I was close. Kind of disappointed. What about Fire Blast? Wait, she's the welfare? I thought uh, the nerd that sucks was the welfare. Is he just, you, you have to roll him? Oh God. Why is he so bad then? I don't even know what she does, by the way. I have no idea. Let's take a look. I guess she's a caster? Well, she's free to play friendly, so if she's a good caster, I might use her because I have such a magic damage problem. I can only see the one skill. Wait, can't, isn't, can't you look at uh, something? You have to be E1 to do it. Let me see. This shouldn't cost anything. The E1's nothing. She's pretty mid. Uh oh. I need someone that's better than Click. Why is she a caster with swords? What is happening? Attack range changes, attack uh, uh, interval is significantly reduced and each attack deals only 31 attack. There's arch damage. Yikes. Nowhere near as good as Click. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it. Attack plus 35%, but no longer targets enemies below 50% HP. I hate that attack causes. Targets to take 6% of her attack uh, per second as artist damage, stacks it to four times. Um, I mean, that part's okay. These really aren't that good, though. Isn't there a way to preview, though, your E2 stuff? There we go. Increased damage dealt to enemies above 80% HP. So the, just the first hit. Yeah, they cut the HP thing, that would really help. Yeah, click is absolutely better. There are different archetypes, but it doesn't matter because they're both magic damage dealers and click could do her job better, I would say. Like, I don't think she's trash, right? Like if I could snap my fingers and level her for free, I'm sure just having another magic damage dealer would be useful, but it's nothing so good that, like I'll probably level her eventually, but I don't think I'm gonna level her. That soon. I do, I do. Yeah, the hat's good. Uh, the hat's good, but um, yeah, I need a fucking magic damage dealer that is actually good. <laughs> That's the thing. Okay. I don't mind the passives if, yeah, passenger is good. Uh, if the, the passives are just a bonus and the unit is totally fine without it, right? Interesting stage. Oh, right. Uh, chat. Type in caster. You don't have to actually slot a caster, though. Medea. Alright, let's see who the winner is. I don't know why chat's mad all of a sudden. 
Oh, Gazmog won. Look at that chat. Gazmog's a uh, fan favorite. Never me. Feels bad. Read Alter. That'll probably be uh, really good here. Where? Sh there she is. All right. Uh. Hmm. I wonder if the cannon is here. We make miracles. Elite one level sixty. Yeah, fucking right, dude. Like anyone's elite one. It's chapter thirteen. Like, what are we six years into the game? I mean, if it's normal mode, you probably could do it with that uh, level. But let's see what it recommends. It doesn't recommend anything. I wonder if it's just because it's a red stage. No, no. Wow, this one's Elite 2 level 20 on normal mode. And this one goes down to Elite 1 level 60. Oof. So I think I'm going to need a... Gravel. Probably not. Where, where is the rat? There she is. Replace her with an animal that I have absolutely no idea what it is. Because I never paid attention. Uh... Dog? Maybe? I don't, I don't know. I have no fucking idea. And like, these don't help. Sometimes these tell you something. Oh, yeah, the Japanese uh, folklore. Is literally anyone else that? Also, how does that even work? Like, what? Is the only one? Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, but there's a lot of dragons at least. Wait, Helger's a griffin? I didn't know that. I knew it was I thought he was just a bird. I thought Molnir was just, you know, a horse like all the other ones. No, he's a Pegasus. No, actually, um, there's a big difference between unicorns, centaurs, and uh, Pegasus. Okay, I actually, centaur and Pegasus is fairly different, but uh, let's be honest, unicorn and Pegasus is pretty whatever. Listen, if you don't get your horse mythology right, I'm gonna have to report you. Streamers. <laughs> Alright, uh, no cannon, it looks like. I'm okay with that. Forwards. Ugly shit. Turns into blood amber when defeated. I guess it's the other worm type? Thanks, I hate them. Die? I, I love that, dude. True damage, so good! I know I'm supposed to be using Reed Alter, but like... The DP was kind of tough there. Oh, you guys don't got a chance. He's such a good counter to them. See, he's amazing in chapter 10. It's just, um... Oh, fuck. No, he still got it. It's just, though, in, uh... He didn't exist in chapter 10. But now we're, like, chapter 10 too, And, uh... Now he does exist, so no problem. I don't know what the hell that is. Dead, that's... I guess those guys create those? So they go there, then out? Fuck, I can't get back. Man, we need W! That'll work too. Probable hostiles in the snow. A little late. Right. 
soul shot. I want to do this one in hard mode, so we got to do the prior one in hard mode. We'll bust out our six stars, I think, for that stage. Fuck him. That guy looks like he's at a risk of rain. Which gets an update soon. And then Death Must Die finally gets an update. So excited for that. I wish Death Must Die had a big development team. Or maybe not a big one, because then you have other problems. But a bigger development team so they can make content faster. Because that's my favorite game in that genre by a huge amount. It actually makes all the other ones look bad in comparison. Risk of Rain 2 is a game, though, that I've really, really enjoyed over the years. I oh, should have swapped these two around. Well, they're fucked. And we're kind of just crushing this stage. To be honest, though, he's so good here. Making a huge difference. Got a purple rock drop from 13-3. She's Dublin, by the way. No, no, she is a... I actually don't... What is she? She's a... She's a dragon, isn't she? We're just talking about those. Dragons can't be locations, chat. That's just silly. Oh, did you get one of these? Because, man, these are a pain to craft. So if you just get one as a drop, that's awesome. That's like so many, that's like so many materials in one spot. What about a dragon barrow? I mean, that that's that's a that's not a, a dragon. That's a chat. I am not my house. Okay. Does it doesn't work that way? Like, what, what do you even say? Like, scream your address? Like, I am address. Sounds like you problem. Uh, this one was Dorothy. He's. Not my first pick here. Okay, we want gravel back. Oh yeah, we can bring six stars though. Let's make a second squad. Dude, look at this M2. I hate it. It's because I don't want to get the mat for it. It's so shit. But I do want to get it. It makes the uh, timer way better and it lasts two seconds longer and it's more damage and all that. Quite nice. And I got to get it ready for Rainbow Six. I want to get all of these max before Rainbow Six Siege hits. Yep, new four stars garbage. I don't even, like, what the hell. The second I looked at his abilities, I was just like, there's no way this is good. You know what, I'm going to bring Siege. Let's try her. Oh fuck, I want to use the second skill here though, which I, it's not mastered. Yeah, he's so bad, it feels like he was day one or something. Like, it's so weird. He also looks like the illegitimate son of Gavel or something. <laughs> kind of strange. I guess he is part of the uh, jungle people, but I don't think he has anything to do with her. But he's got like the ears and the hair and everything. Uh, okay, Toter's good. Huh. I can bring Silver Ash though, that's right. I don't want to try that. A gator. Mm, 
Neural's got true damage, which is good for the slugs. I don't know if I have room on the team for all that nonsense, though. I like how there's no Ash on the team right now. Feels bad. As soon as I bring my six stars, Ash is right out. But use Silver Ash for the invisible guys. I don't have to bring Toter, but I don't really need both of them. I mean, I could bring Silver Ash in the back to just murder everything that moves. I guess we'll try this and maybe adjust depending on how it goes. Missing a brawler. Most teams do, unless you have mountain. I forgot gravel. Um, I also forgot uh, hummus. This is going to be interesting. Well, I mean, that's nice. How fast does it come in? I wonder if that's possible to send them back when it's on the way But hasn't actually hit them yet one frame. It's probably doable. It's just you have to literally click it on that one frame But good luck The frame perfect it's that's pretty tough He's gonna have a harder time out here. Oh, these aren't dead yet either because the way I did this. I need DP. If Siege was mastered, this would be a lot easier. Wait, we're not ready yet. Oh God. What is wrong with you? Whoever is in charge of this cannon is just slow. He's just bad at switching targets. Okay, um... I need so much DP, dude. This doesn't even generate D. I could do this one, but I think unironically uh, scavenger will make more. I guess we'll see. Keep forgetting what chat picked here because we don't respect Dorothy in this house, apparently. I don't even know why I'm being mean to Dorothy now because I, I really don't have a problem with Dorothy. Isn't she American, for God's sakes? I'm a traitor, chat. No way to hit two of these with her. I really like uh, hummus for these guys, honestly. He'll be fine. Let me just frame perfect this chat. No problem. I need to make the hotkey like escape. I clicked. I clicked, but I, it was ever so slightly uh, too late, I suppose. I'd love the frame data to know like how off I was. That'd be super interesting to see. Honestly, this team is kind of worse than my low star team that I use. <laughs> the DP's like really fucked with this one. But I can't really set up in time. Ah. 
I could probably work in Myrtle though and it'd be fine. Oh, I forgot to drop her. Whoops. Gonna get Toter killed. Fuck! Siege really just is not it. Like, I need to take Siege off. That She's not worth. I just want it to work because I just leveled her the other day. And I should put Hummus back on. Like, Hummus is actually perfect with his hitbox. Uh, I can't, I, Neural's so cool, but I don't think we need her. Feels bad, man. This is my first time using Siege ever, by the way. I'm pretty sure. Like, my Siege anyway, and she's not doing shit. Mastered the wrong skill. I have to at least try. I did it. Uh, I fucking did it. Uh, I just guessed when it was gonna turn red there. I actually dodged a uh, meteor strike there. Let's see. You get a DP back when you do that, so it's actually worth. Chat, I wonder if you put that in an auto if it actually works. I kind of suspect it doesn't, but uh, if we win, we'll, we'll check. Probably not gonna win though. Let's not let's not get cocky here. Oh, I'm pushing it on DP big time. And they're not close to getting their stuff. Fuck, this is bad. Yeah, I don't have enough DP. Dude, these high stars are bad here. I actually think my, my low star team is just better. It's like, it's everything's just too expensive. Well, I mean, if I didn't bring Siege, it probably wouldn't be a problem. Uh, I should probably cut Silver Ash and stuff. I don't want to talk, but I probably should. Uh, let's see that. I just try to get more DP. The problem is Myrtle is is not that good here because she won't block top, and uh, you won't have time. You can't like drop her somewhere else. What can I do here? Destroy. Oh yeah, we have Donkey on the team. We, we may not need that. We'll see. I probably should do something though to get more DP. That is the entire reason this is a problem. If you get stabilized, you're gonna be fine. Too bad some people just can't live. Yeah, Doberman was gonna be a vanguard, that's why her skill's green. That's such a random bit of trivia. Man, we even got that one frame thing, but uh, that's not gonna happen. Got fighting games that have combos that have a bunch of one frame links and like ha having to memorize that shit. That is just the worst, absolute worst. Look, everybody that <laughs> made characters like that.
Um, sh this is... Mmm. Yeah, I couldn't really get it because she hadn't finished swinging. Oh god. How did I what? How did I bleed? I've never bled over there before and now Myrtle's there. Not I mean she had her skill up, but so how on earth did we bleed there? He slid in I, I, you know it's probably because Myrtle m booped him. So he was on a different tile. That that's probably why. And then he went between the two tiles and never technically touched either of them. That that is very rare that that happens. But uh, yeah, that's probably what that was. That's so weird. And that confused the hell out of me there. God, it sucks how hard it is to get the DP back from Yasuo here. Because DP is so important at the start. And it like, because of the guys boosting it, it kind of moves at random. It's really hard to do it. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, they just hold it. So far, Gravel's better because you don't have to deal with this. And like, Yato, Yato's way better later on in this stage. But uh, like, honestly, this was way easier with Gravel and you were, it was way smoother with DP. Like, I, I really mean this. So far, my low star team is better than this team. This team will be better than low star team though if you actually survive the late game. But the other team was just so much smoother at the start. I think I did it again. It was good. We'll take them out Fighting game pro, clearly. I'm here to help. I have done some one frame stuff in fighting games before, but it was a long time ago. And that's also where you're just sitting there practicing and practicing and practicing and practicing. It doesn't take this long to reset. I need to drop her sooner to do the true damage. Great luck. I see you. That's the wrong tile. Oh god. Well, that's going to be interesting. I mean, maybe she'll be fine. You never know. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why Silver Ash is even on this team right now. We'll uh, figure it out. So earlier chat, the guy didn't switch the target fast enough. That was the fastest target switch I have ever seen. 
It was on Matterhorn, and right as it fired, for like one frame, it was on Siege. And then immediately went back. That is so stupid. And now we don't have a fucking healer over there. Oh, we in for it now. There's like no way I can keep Gator alive. That was so bad. Like if that hadn't happened, we'd be fine, but that was super shit. How is she dying? Oh, these guys got through. This guy. We're not dead yet. Looking pretty rough though. We got Silver Ash's skill. Fuck everything that moves. Okay, this is a big improvement. Why is it over here still? You've got to be fucking kidding me right now. Oh, there we go. It's because last time we had a bunch of true damage in here to stop those slugs from getting on people. Uh, we don't really have that. I don't think I've even deployed Dorothy this entire time. Like I said earlier, she's really not that great here. This team feels so much worse than the Force Joy team, dude. Like it's, it's such a mess. Like, we don't have good control over the slugs at all. That was really good. It wouldn't have mattered. We would have won anyway, but that, that was crazy value right there. I think what you do is you use the prior team. You replace Cutter with Gator, though. Um, and if you could try to sneak in Yato, that'd be good. But yeah, I think overall the prior team's better. Gator instead of Cutter, though, really would be good. Guys, Dorothy carry. That was very silly. I want to go lie down, doctor. Okay. Oh, I didn't even know what the bonus was. Oh, they charge it more quickly. I didn't notice. I didn't. I guess I noticed on the first one because like it was hard to get Toter down. Yeah, I didn't... <laughs> but the rest of it, it didn't really matter. Um. Okay. What was Chat's unit here? I for oh, read Alter, right. Got Hummus, it's fine. Wanted Irene behind him instead, though. Chat, favorite operator in uh, Ark Knights. Not necessarily by gameplay, just overall. Like, just who's your favorite? Any criteria? Mm -hmm. We asked this time to time. Doberman and W. Passenger. I respect that. Neural's a good pick. Neural is such a, like... There's nothing to hate about Neural, right? Pinecone, you son of a bitch. Neural's pretty high on my list. I don't know where she would be exactly, but, uh... She's pretty cool. Oh, she doesn't kill in hard mode. That's tough. I need DP. God, that was close. Still need TP. I feel like I have DP down. Like, I don't have J, but like, we're not actually gaining. Fuck. Me down with 
Okay, there we go. It should be set over here now. Mastema. Man, that's a rare one. We normally have like one person anytime I ask this though that likes Mastema. I know nothing about her character. I don't mind her design, but I, I don't, I've not. I, I don't know all the characters of a lot of the six stars, honestly. Because I've stuck with the low stars a lot, so. I don't, I don't know her shtick. Like Jay a lot, Noir and Yato, all the Rainbow Six people. I gotta say, if, if you let Rainbow Six in, Blitz is pretty great. This is going well. I forgot to deploy um, Chat's unit, excuse me. I was like, yeah, Perfumer, that'll work. I mean, it, it was definitely working. This stage is a lot easier than the prior one. There absolutely are, like, white stages that are harder than red stages, though. That's happened multiple times. This stage would be so much harder if you added the cannon in, though, because it's so, like, clustered in here. You have to sit up like here and here, and then over here and have them survive over here. Good to be safe. Buttons! Damn, right as it's getting a little bit hard, it's gonna be over. I hate when that happens. Thank you, boy. I miss challenge mode. I really prefer it over hard mode. Yeah, Zaw said to turn the music on. Let's see what's up here. All right, you need to do these to get the welfare stuff, don't you? Not that she's the highest priority uh, for leveling right now, but I'd take 50k LMD though. These aren't bad either. I need to look up what the new Rainbow Six Ops need and like write it down um, or like a, make a screenshot guide for myself or something. That way I, I make sure I don't use those mats and I've got enough. Because I want to be able to level all the Rainbow Six Ops the second they drop. I love this song so much. Fortunately, I must mute it. Make a Google dog for it. Uh, make it my desktop background. Make like a screenshot guide and just make it my background. That'd be really effective, but I really like my background right now. It, uh, port. Pretty good. Always that or Rainbow Six. Anything good? I mean, rocks never hurt. So far, this chapter's fun, though. Um, like this, this stage was legit. Like this, that, that was this is a really fun stage. I guess this is where the chapter really starts, though. Like, uh, I'm assuming the cannon's not gonna be in it anymore, and there's gonna be some new shtick. What a great team.
Not really any music here right now. Might just be too quiet. Let's see. What they fighting, eh? Gravel doesn't get used much in the main story now that I think about it. He's been in a few events though. Cool art. Arknights has a really cool world, honestly. Like their their main issue is like their their writing is kind of hit or miss, and they have a, a tendency of like. And like not giving you information about things like you don't know anything about frost nova leading up to her chapter and Then all of a sudden they drop all the frost nova information and then boom she dies Right when she's been in the story the entire time so they could have like paced that out way better They, they make that mistake a lot in arc Knights. Also all the playable characters just like don't fit in because they like the designs of the like NPCs versus the playable characters is just like absurd like it is in JRPGs and stuff, you know one of those the fucking call set monologues. Oh my god, dude. And like, it's because Gosh is stuff, but like, I think FCO is better about this. Sometimes it just feels like they're pandering way too much to like the waifu stuff. And there's nothing wrong with having female characters and stuff. But some of the stories is just like every single important character is a waifu and it's just like it feels so silly It's like Tin Man is one of the only guys in Lone Trail But he's not playable and never will be right there's like a lot of that and it's just it's silly I think it's because of this company and their other games before Ark Knights, they didn't even have playable male characters, so uh they even said it was kinda it's a learning experience when it comes to adding guys into their games and stuff, so it's like I like Lone Trail. It's like this is Lone Trail is like a, a condensed version of how I feel about Ark Knights as a whole, right? It's got this awesome like aesthetic and backstory and vibe music and none of the individual characters I hate or anything like that like they're all fine but as a collective it just feels like it's really trying to pander to like waifu culture and it in that that in of itself is not like a crime it's not like it's just like romance novels aren't a crime right there's nothing wrong with these kinds of things it's just when you try to make the serious backstory the serious music you know, serious character motivations and all that, but then it feels like a harem anime. It's like, these things do not go well together, right? And then you just have literally Tin Man who's not playable. It's like, all right, great. But that's, that's kind of how I feel about the whole goddamn game, right? It's like, it just they, they try so hard to make these nations with like interesting backstories and all this world building and 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 stuff but then it's just then five seconds later it's just harem anime it's like what it's just it's so out of place because again it's not just the fact that women exist that's fine there's nothing wrong with having female characters it's just the, like the way that they're introduced how like the ratio being like you know 20 to 80 and you know all this kind of nonsense and like the difference in the designs between the playable characters and then the you know the npcs and stuff it's like how is this it's very hard to take it seriously, right? And some games you don't need to take seriously. And that, that's, that can be fun and, and great, right? That's, I'm not saying everything needs to be super serious. 
Uh, it's just the thing is, Art Knights is like trying to make you take it seriously, right? So it's it's like that's why it's a problem. The game is trying so hard to make you take their the backstory seriously and the world building seriously and all this kind of stuff. But then you've got like bad exposition dumps and uh, you know them like withholding information from you until the last second and then dumping it all on you, right? So it doesn't feel natural. And then the character designs and stuff being so out of sync like that. It really hurts the experience for me. Like, it really does. I still like Ark Knights a lot. You know, I play this game all the time, but uh, I would like it so much more if they were more consistent with that kind of thing. Oh, here we go. Tarkos guy, though. Is this seaborn shit? Surely not. This looks a lot like seaborn shit. Why is it a skeleton though? What is happening? This looks like a seaborn that got necromancered. Like that doesn't look like the it's very seaborny, but then it's like a skeleton and that's not really their shtick, so Is that what Fco whales look like? Yeah, it is kind of a skeleton game over there. So before we get into what the hell is going on, um I think a good way to better articulate what I was trying to say a second ago. So look at like those cutscenes, right? Think of all the trailers they've done, the major cutscenes like that, you know, the background art, that kind of aesthetic. The NPCs and like uh, some of the playable characters, right, really fit in with that atmosphere, that mood. It's like believable. And then you've got you official, right, and just so, so and fucking click and just you know all this stupid shit. And it's just like what? You know, it's just it's so. Dumb! Don't wrath me! You know I'm so fucking right! Um, oh, give me one second though, I need to get water. Like, you just have all these, like, fucking characters that show up in the story or the events and stuff, and it's like, this does not fit in. But then Sharp does, and Sharp's not playable. Hating on women, right? Piss fits in fine. Outcast fits in fine. There's no problem there. Are they playable? No, right? And it it's not the end of the world if like some of the characters are, you know, a little out of place. You know, there's people that are out of place in, in real life events, right? This is fine. Um, it's more like basically every fucking person that fits in isn't playable, right? And then everyone that doesn't fit in is playable, right? Because like all the NPCs and bosses and shit generally have a designs that fit in, right? And make sense, be they male or female, right? And then the playable ones, it's just like, what the actual fuck, right? It's, it, and like I said, a few oddities is totally okay, but it's the other way around where there's a handful of people that actually kind of like the, that fit in with the world building and everything. And there's an army that don't. I miss Outcast. That was, uh, that was a cool character. She didn't get a lot of screen time though, which really sucked, honestly. So what is this? Is this like demon stuff? Yeah, oh, I see literally demon there. Cause I was about to say, even though it's very... What it, but why is it a whale? <laughs> this has to have at least some connection to the Seaborn in some kind of way. Is this like a, a dead leviathan that the demons are resurrecting or something? 
Like, this is kind of uh, like a mix of Seaborn. So is it like a Seaborn, a dead Seaborn that's being controlled by demon bullshit? Huh. Definitely not what I was expecting here. Demons are scary, man. Whale gun? Yeah, I guess we'll see him. I'm not sure if it's a Leviathan specifically. I do think it's some, you know, sea thing, but... I don't know who that is. In CN, they called it Leviathan? Huh. They might have been using a more like traditional version of Leviathan instead of the Seaborn version. Same battlefield, different day. All right, what is this nonsense here? Release a pulse wave that absorbs all blood amber within range and converts them into blood spawn. Okay. Spend 10, 10 DP to deploy anti-witchcraft uh move towards the nearest blood calling altar what is that I, I guess it means it's gonna like make a bomb that goes along here huh don't doubt who I'm consume 100 hp which is nothing uh per second okay now it's something uh deal that's not that bad the deal 200 true damage per second to enemies that have either attacked or been attacked by this unit. It's fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. Attack range plus one, max HP plus 45%, attack plus 90, and each attack restore 5% HP and has a 25% chance to stun targets for four seconds. That's pretty good. Last 70 seconds too. Oh, the recast time is pretty high. Seize the moment. Yeah, nice defense. Uh, how much health is he? Okay, he's, got, he's got loads of health though. So he's basically taking true damage anytime he gets attacked though. Don't doubt you. And no resistance either. Well, I guess he doesn't care if the enemies do true damage then though. Oh, I see. We don't control this one. You can destroy it with this thing though. I wonder if these guys um, block it so that the way it has to be clear. Nothing can mask the scent of despair. I wish I liked him. I like his. He's like one of the few male designs that I like, but I don't like the character. It really sucks. I really wish that wasn't the case. Like, I feel so unlucky on that one that it's one of the few characters that I really don't like, and then it's one of the few designs that I do like. So it's like, how does this happen? Your step. I'm trying to think, has that ever happened in FGO? Probably. Enemies slow the transport speed. They don't stop it. Wow, it's pretty fucking slow. Do you need to like hit it? Oh, I see. God, that's painful. Gravel is so good for that, though. Don't doubt I see, and the enemies can push it the other way. Time to end this. Yeah, he's really cool. I, in terms of like gameplay and you know style and everything, but 
Fuck his character. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, chat. I'm gonna make Zaw upset here. And a lot of people upset. I'm about to get wrathed all over here, chat. I don't really like any of W's crew that much, but W and Ainz are okay, but I really don't like him. W is probably the best, actually. I would say W, I actually like W of the three the most. But uh, yeah, I don't really like them that much. Scout was cooler than all of them by a lot. And, and to illustrate my point here, right? Not only was there no fucking reason for them to kill Scout, which W even says, but they, he killed him because he was part of Rose Island, and now he's joining Rose Island, right? It's like, yep, this makes sense. Real logical over here right now. Like, he's just sour grapes because Scout was a Sarkos that, you know, is not really with them anymore. Which organization do you like from Ark Knights? Rainbow Six? That would, uh, that'd be the one. Honestly, Neural's family's fine. Uh, they're pretty good. I, oh, oh, I know. Patriot and Frost Nova's reunion. That, a thousand percent. Like, they literally don't do anything unreasonable ever, right? And, and everyone's like, reunion bad, where it's really just like Mephisto and Tallulah, and it's not even Tallulah's fault because she got fucking brain jacked. The Yeti squads all chads. The gorillas are all chads. They, they are the and they have to work their fucking asses off before the doctors even awake, right? They've been working their asses off to do the right thing this whole fucking time, and then we come along, fucking bunch of pricks. I tell you, a faction I don't like is Chins. Like, dude, Chin sucks. I I I fuck it. I fucking hate Chin so much. She is so lame. I hate almost everything she does. Almost every word out of her mouth annoys me. It, it sucks because like the voice actor's fine, the design is fine, the gameplay's fine. But yeah, oh, Jesus Christ, I don't like Chen. They fucking suck. Also, Gladia sucks. Um, I was reading all the the Seaborn stuff again recently, and I was like, man, I do not like Gladia at all. So that, that, that's another lame one. I like Hoshi a lot more than Chen, but uh, that whole faction kind of blows. Chat's uh, angry because I'm telling the truth. Let's see, the order factions that I like. So, I mean, Neural Family, fine. Gorillas, Yeti Squad's fine. Mephisto sucks, but Faust is good. That's not really a faction, though. Um... Columbia's pretty interesting. They're a mixed bag, but I do in, like like them in the way they interact with the world. They're definitely an interesting faction. Um, I'm iffy on on the Silver Ash faction. They're uh, interesting. They're definitely interesting, but I, I, they're iffy. Um, Black Steel's okay. I, I kind of like the Angels. Uh, I like the Demons. Not so much Ursus, but like the Demons. They're they're all off awful, obviously. Um, but they're interesting. Victoria's all right. I, um, they're, they're, I enjoy the story with Victoria. Um, the Mafia's weird, man, because if I'm understanding this right, essentially the story with them is you have all these animal gods that are immortal, and because they're bored, they play Mafia politics for fun, right? And so the Mafia is just like the tools of those guys, and... Although interesting, it's kind of daft, right? It's it's kind of daft. Uh, but it, 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 I don't know. It's all right. I like some of the characters individually. I'm not like their, their interaction with the world and their motivations and all that. It's kind of eh. Like it just kind of depends if you want to like focus on the cool factor or on or on like the actual. So here's the thing. This is why I like Patriots the best because he's a Giga Chad. And he's, like, actually doing shit that makes sense and is awesome, right? Um, like, Yeti Squad and the Gorillas, they're, they're kind of just all awesome. So, it's a lot easier to root for them than, like, anybody else. Um, and they get, like, no screen time. So, you know, that, that worked out great. Um, 
Ur Ursus, is, I have to say, is kind of awesome because they're they're just awful. I mean, because like there's all these factions and Arknights that they try to make you root for that are just lame, in my opinion. Where Ursus, they just embrace the uh, the shittiness, right? Like they're just pieces of shit. Um, so it, it makes them really enjoyable, like story-wise. So yeah, Ursus is pretty awesome. But yeah, I really dislike that in any story, like JRPGs and stuff like that, when you have these factions that they like want you to root for, but they're shit, right? Uh, I find it easier to root for factions that they don't even want you to root for, but then are also shit, right? Kill civilians at all costs. I mean, it's more like kill the infected at all costs, but uh, gameplay-wise, that's how it turns out. And then Seaborn, I am very conflicted about. I know you're- don't lie to me. I know you're in my chat right now. Fucking Seaborn sympathizers, right? Hello, fellow humans, right? I- I know you're here, right? They're- Me? Yeah, I- I know there are Seaborn fans. I don't even mean Abyss Hunters. I mean literally Seaborn fans. Um... I, I'm mixed. They're, they're certainly awesome in that, like, you know, they're not affected by Aripathy, right? They're, like, they're really ancient. Uh, they're so alien, right? Which is cool because in real life, you know, the sea is so alien to everything else, right? I think they really did that on purpose. I really like that. I, I, I like them narratively and all that stuff, but there's something about them that just makes me not like them. I don't even know what it is, to be honest. I think it's kind of just, um... I guess because they kind of want them to be like this boogeyman, but then they can't, they don't have the balls to use them in the main story. I actually think that's what it is, which more is, is a narrative thing, less so than them as a faction. It's like, they want them to just be so important, but then not, right? Does it, do you get what I'm saying? It's like, they want them to just be so fucking important, right? So anytime they use them in, in events or in IS3, they're like, look how important this is. But then they never matter, right? It's like they just want, they want, they're trying to have their cake and eat it too, right? They just want them to be this like apocalyptic threat, but then they're like, but yeah, no, it never actually matters, right? It just, it's like pick a fucking lane, right? I think if they just got off their ass and really committed to something with the Seaborn, and, and, cause this is what it kind of feels like to me. It's like they're afraid to exhaust them, right? It's like they're this giant threat that like kind of has to, be dealt with or not they either like they're either going to take over the world or 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 be defeated but but they don't want to commit to that and have that just happen and, and be done right they want to just always have the seaborn around but that doesn't work right that like, like it's like having a doomsday clock that never ends right uh, that that really is it i think that really is why i don't like the seaborn is because they want to have this threat of doomsday but it never amounts to anything ever right and that just sucks but like i like their backstory and and uh you know some of their like champions if you can call them that are cool um you know their music's great and all that so like i like them i, I think i just detest the way the devs use them right they're like chicken shit uh with it they're like afraid to like finally do a seaborn plot that's definitive and then not have seaborn anymore right like that they're just so scared of doing that uh so they just kind of pussyfoot with them and uh and they're not the only ones like that to be fair there's some other things like they kind of just drag on like that and f go is doing that like crazy um Let's see, other good factions though. I mean, I honestly do like uh, Columbia because almost everything Columbia is involved in ends up just being really interesting. Um, so I do like them. They're not used super often, but like all the stuff with Lone, like how they're connected to Lone Trail and all that was really awesome. Um, during stuff, I they don't use that a lot. I don't really have a strong opinion about them unless I've missed some events, but I haven't read every event. Um, let me see. I, I know I'm forgetting some stuff here. I do like the angels. They're, they're pretty interesting. Um, and their, their society is in like a, such a different state than all the other ones, which is kind of interesting. Um, I like the jungle stuff, honestly. Uh, some of it, I haven't read all of it, but the stuff I have read of it's pretty interesting. It's, it's really detached though. Um, but yeah, really, I'm team... Gorilla Squad and Yeti Squad, I think, through and through. That really is the... Uh, it sucks because they're... Well, see, isn't Yeti Squad all dead? I know the gorillas are still alive, and like they actually work with Rhodes Island sometimes, and they've kind of like you know done that with uh, IS4 and stuff. Isn't Yetis? Aren't they all dead? It's pretty fucked up, honestly. 
Yeah, I, I think every Yeti is dead, which is really messed up in that they were like really tight with the gorillas, right? Cause like the gorillas saved them uh, and they were bros. And um, yeah, that blows man. There's one guy from Yeti squadron that's still alive, Jesus. The German stuff's pretty interesting. Um, not too bad. It's a little gimmicky though. That's kind of how I feel about the mafia stuff. It feels really gimmicky um, with all the wolf god stuff and all that. Yeah, they don't do much with Japan. It's a lot more Chinese stuff. Yeah, there's no Korea. A little bit of Japan. One thing I don't like about the American stuff is their drip is shit. Like, I, I swear they're taking shots at America. I actually feel that a lot in Arknights and almost all media from China that does anything with America. They just have to take shots at it. Um, it's like they're trying to make all their stuff look cheap, which is, I find it ironic because, no offense, but China's the one that has like the really cheap buildings and bad construction and all that. It's not America. Like, that's just silly. But like, all their stuff looks like plastic. Um, you know, like, it, it's just obvious that they're kind of taking shots at America and all the stuff related to them. Uh, I just think that's just the kind of tension between China and America. But I feel like a lot of times when America does Chinese stuff, we don't do that. Um, like, a lot of Western media, when they do anything from Japan, China, or any of that, they kind of really honor it and kind of go out of their way to be look, like, look how awesome this stuff is. Um, but uh, the, the, the reverse is not true. Because, like, Japan does it too. Like, oh my god, FGO can't stop taking shots at America, dude. The only thing fate-related that is ever nice to America is the, uh, the writer of, um, of, uh, of Fate Strange Fake. He is the only writer for fate stuff that is ever, like, America stuff's cool, right? Everything else is just, like, America sucks, right? And I just see that a lot from Eastern stuff, and the, and the reverse just is not true, generally speaking. Oh yeah, Witch King's pretty awesome. Doesn't the Witch King, like, know about, uh, like, doesn't he also know about, like, the fake sky and a lot of that stuff? Like, he learned a lot about, like, the secrets of the world and stuff. But, uh, you know, he did it with magic, where Kristen did it with technology, which was way cooler. <clears throat> I'm just saying. Um, okay, what do we got here? Yeah, the Witch King stuff is pretty interesting. They just, um, I, I kind of wish we had like an event set in that period. I would love some events set in those like different time periods. That'd be awesome. But yeah, I was reading some Witch King stuff and I was pretty sure that like he, he he's like, was very knowledgeable. It, it, it's, isn't he like a spirit now or some bullshit? Blacksteel does have pretty good drip for the most part. Yeah, China is also really mean to Japan, uh, for sure. Like, they always... They really focus on that era where Japan, you know, cut off trade with the whole world and all that. They kind of just act like they've been like that forever. But it's like, guys, that, that ended a long time ago. And, like, it's weird, too, because Japan is actually... Like, very connected in global trade now, right? Like, very much so. So it is weird uh, how, like, stuck on that they are. But yeah, like when Western media is going to do something like Cowboys versus Ninjas or some shit like that, they'll have the Ninja win, right? Like all the time, like where Western media like really gives like uh, hype to Samurai and, and all this like ancient stuff in, in the East. But oh my God, the opposite. Uh, absolutely not. All right, let's see. We will make it eight, 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 chat. Chat, that's actually a sentence. Eight, eight, eight. As in like, something named eight or the letter eight devoured eight, right? A lot of really, a lot of silly sentences like that in uh, English actually. All right, the winner is Skill issue. Okay, chat, what's your favorite faction? Real quick, just blurt it out. What's your favorite faction? Not character, not character, faction. I think I would go with gorillas, I think, overall. I like Yetis a lot, but I, I, I would give it to the gorillas. 
Now, Horse Family is pretty good. I will say Horse Family is pretty awesome. Uh, I like all their events and kind of their, like, they're just their way through the world has been pretty interesting, so. Well, a lot of people are actually going with that. Uh, damn, that, I, I'm surprised. Victoria, okay, we got, we got, we got one uh, Brit here. I do like the Victorian stuff, though, actually. And act, I love this bit of world building they did. Um, that when the Rainbow Six people come over, uh, obviously they speak English. They're like, oh, they speak an old version of Victorian. So like, that's how you're able to understand them. So that that's actually a really like fun nod to the fact that Victoria is you know based on Britain and, and the like. So that that's that's pretty fun. I feel like I'm forgetting something though. I feel like I'm forgetting a faction that I I really like. Uh... I do like the demons though. They're just they're just in, intriguing, right? It's kind of funny because Patriot was alive, you know, long, long time ago, and he's my favorite, uh, you know, faction uh, there. He's the leader of that faction, but you know, he fought the demons, right? That's like the whole thing. But the demons are just really interesting. Uh, and anytime you learn about them, it's pretty neat, though. R6 pretty high for me though, because I actually think that's a legit pick at this point because they are integr- It's not just like LOL fourth wall breaking collab stuff. You know, they really integrated that stuff into the game uh, pretty fluidly. So I think that's legit. They, they are up there. They're pretty cool, but gorillas, man. Uh, wait, who won? Oh yeah, yep, skill issue. Excuse me, what did you pick? My apologies. Kind of zoned out there. Were you picking bagpipe? Because I saw you say that, but I, I don't know if you were talking about... Uh, okay, yeah, it is bagpipe. Okay. Let me, let me make sure they weren't referring to... Uh... There, well, aren't they Scottish, I think? Which I, uh, I, I guess is Victorian related in the in this game. Uh, Man, we haven't used bagpipe in so long. Holy crap, dude. Does she have an English VA? I've never heard it if she does. Uh, I think I'm set into English. Oh shit, she does. Okay, I haven't heard it then. So hopefully it should work because I'm pretty sure I'm default to English. I'm kind of looking forward to this then. Stop right there, you little cobs. Don't All right. I really, yeah, I do like the way they do the voice acting in Ark Knights and like the different regions and stuff. They put a lot, it's, you can tell it's not even about the money, it's about the passion. And I really like, and that's, God, that's why Ark Knights gets me though, is because there, there's blatantly a lot of passion in this game with the world building, the mu I mean, the music. I, I don't think, I can't even think of a game that's put in this effort into the music with the variety and stuff. Obviously like I like armored core music the most, but in terms of effort, I think Ark Knights is the most effort I've ever seen a game put into music because they're so willing to make music that fits the game and then make unique music that fits the moment and then like a mix of the two and like it's just cr and like crazy effort put into the music. Um, and when they first started doing English, they actually were kind of phoning in, in a bit in my opinion, but they've really stepped it up as time has gone on. And uh, yeah, them getting like the voice actors for like the region specific stuff. That's just, that's such a nice touch, right? Like, and it, it's, I, I'm not one of those people that's like, oh my God, you can't have a uh, a white person voice a black character or vice versa. I'm not one of these people, but it's such a nice touch when you do do stuff like, we'll make uh, Italian, you know, versions of characters. You know, obviously they still have the Japanese voice acting and the Chinese voice acting and all that, but like they, they'll make Italian versions of the Italian characters, right? That's just, that's just really nice, right? Like that's just a really nice thing to do. Um, and, uh, they, and, they, and it's not like they, they don't phone it in, you know, they take some real effort to get, you know, good talent for it and whatnot, so. All right, um, what the hell is this stage? So this thing's over here. That's a hell of a slog. Where do I want to set up? And there's only one blue box. Forward. Standing discipline strengthens the will. I don't remember this skill. We'll do this. 
Right, so these guys are just fucked uh, until you get rid of this. Let's go. Ah. Well, let's see how she does here. Yeah, that's uh, that's a bit of a nightmare. Can you imagine if she pulled that back? Like how terrible that would be? I would imagine they push it in the way they're facing, not the way their their sprite is. Because that would just be ridiculous. Should have deployed him a long time ago. Gravel is going to be very good in this for boss killing. Well, it seems to be working out well enough here. It's weird to have a vanguard for boss killing, but I'll take it. It seems to be a very hard hitting vanguard. Let me test this out. How am I supposed to hit it up here? I guess it just moves along the track as long as you hit it at all. I thought you wanted me here to fix the log. Yeah, that that works. That's an interesting gimmick. I don't hate it. This is kind of a tutorial stage. You can tell like they're not throwing anything mean at you, but they're letting you really understand. They want to make sure you paid attention to the tutorial prior. This is actually a good way to teach players how something works though, instead of expecting them to read a mountain of text. Might use bagpipe again then because this didn't really count. She didn't get to do much. Save life. How's that? Mission accomplished. See ya, Mala. Um, I can't imagine that on hard mode is gonna matter too much, but redeployment time. That does make it harder to use gravel here. Let's see, maybe just bring another redeploy. You could just use cutter or something like that though, no big deal. Maybe sneak in uh, Myrtle. Imagine taking a Chad like Matterhorn off the team and replacing it with a kid with an apple and a flag. Probably put her down first just to hold the line here. My speed and I hail from Victoria. Oh my god. I'm here to help. The Netherlands shall around Does she do something to give them SP? Because Myrtle started with it. Like did she give other vanguards SP when they deploy? That's pretty sick. No wonder she's considered good. Hey, boy. Are you back home or are you still uh, on vacay? A little close there, buddy. Going well enough. Oh, I forgot to deploy our boy here. Probable ambush in the grass. I mean, they're holding it fine. Yeah, the faster redeploy time makes you have to like bring more units to move this thing along. Hey, Tuko, I think it's gonna say that. Thank you for the five months, dude. Boy, Greeny's being mean to us. I am not. 
Hope you're having a good time, boy. They're fast on the move. You should be able to move it the entire way here. There's more of you. Crazy that bagpipe has just completely held this lane. Like not not no enemies have gotten past her uh What does this do if there's Can you not activate it? No you can. I wonder what it does if there's nothing there. Ready to go, clear! Sadly, uh, the stage is going to be over soon. I wonder if units like Cutter can get SP off of hitting this thing. Yep, they can. That could be good. Worth remembering. All right, what's it gonna do here? I guess nothing. Maybe it explodes. That'd be cool. What a day. Now it just disappears. So once you've done it, it's pointless. God, these redeploy times are brutal. You can use it as an SP battery. Yeah, it definitely can be used for that. So I'm sure there's some reason to deploy it sometimes. Okay, chat. I know it's a little early, but I'm getting a bit of a headache. So I want to take medicine and like relax a bit. And then I think we'll do a bonus stream. I I'm loving this though. I mean, chapter so far this chapter is good. And I, I look for this gimmick's nice. I actually like it. Um, I'll, I'll take a quick break, maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And then, uh, what do y'all want? I mean, I can do more Arc Knights if people want it, but I, I wouldn't mind playing some Tiaria. Um, but yeah, whatever people want, really. Yeah, sorry, Poi. Spire. Yeah, I, I would keep streaming, but I can tell I'm getting a headache and I really got to take medicine and stuff. Um, I'm not going to be here in 20 minutes. Feels bad. I'm so sorry, Poi. This was a blast. I really, uh, I really had a good time here. All right, Chad. Well, I'll be back in like 10, 20 minutes. And then uh, looking like Tiaria. And we'll, we'll mess around with that. But uh, if you're just here for Ark Knights, thank you so much for hanging out. We'll play more Ark Knights tomorrow, clearly. Like the new main story is good shit. But uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I will see you guys soon and take care.